everyone as promised i am back in front of you again why because i wanted to share a few of the psychologies behind some techniques some powerful techniques which nlp helps us with you know i had uh, gotten the queries of so many people where they asked me that how nlp is going to help me how nlp will provide me with the power with the impact with the influence and if you have watched my last video you must remember that nlp is not about manipulation we spoke about it you understand it as well nlp is about genuinely taking the measures to actually make our life resourceful and fruitful so if this is the case by only changing the thinking patterns or maybe by only understanding the different perspectives different programmings that we go through cannot come to our rescue every time Remember, I'm saying every time. Yes, sometimes those perspectives help us. Sometimes the understanding of those programmings, those laws of NLP, definitely help us because it is also one of the tool and method to take care of our life. But having said this, there are times when all those laws and programs, even if the understanding is there, we fail to take care of the things that are going around us. And this is when NLP brings various techniques. Today, the very first technique that I will be presenting in front of you is rapport building. This is extremely important as you know it because this is the most common word that we keep on hearing in corporates, at home, wherever we go, we always uh, relate it to something that if things are not going well with someone, you lack the rapport. If things are going really well with someone, then you have a good rapport with them. So what is this rapport all about? What is the psychology behind it? And how NLP helps us? We need to know that and you deserve to know that as well. So allow me to share that understanding with you. Rapport is also one of the pillars or the foundations of NLP. And rapport means when we are in harmony with the other person, with the presence of the other person, when we are speaking to the other person, there is a harmony over there. So in order to maintain that harmony, sometimes it comes naturally. Sometimes we have to bring it, not because we want to use that person, but because there is a relationship that we have to maintain and because there is some outcome that we have to get because of some responsibility or some task assigned to us. So rapport building has n number of ways where it can be manifested using NLP. There can be eyes. We can use eyes as a medium to actually build the rapport using the eye movements. And you know, this is one of the things because of which NLP is widely uh, abused by many people because they feel that we will get to know what is going on in the mind. It's not like that. We only can make a guess that what could be going on, what kind of thoughts will be there going on in our head, in someone else's head, if eyes are moving in a certain way. That's the only thing. And don't you think that if we are able to take a guess about it, we can come more closer to someone, we can actually understand someone really well. So this is what it is all about. Similarly, Rapo is not only about saying yes, yes to the other person. Rapo also means that while I agree to the other person on some points, but there are times when I may disagree with that person. But then how to communicate that? That is also one of the things which NLP teaches us using the programming, using the laws of NLP. And there are n number of ways where we can further build the Rapo using perceptual positions, using the body language and all these things are so powerful which come to our rescue that any one technique if you bring in the rapport has to become beautiful between you and the other person and this is how i feel that nlp is going to help us when we talk about human relationships why because it's foundation one of the foundations is rapport so this is what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that you will get some understanding around it. And yes, in case if you actually want to get through the deeper realms, deeper psychology of these techniques of proper building, I invite you to join our program of NLP practitioner, where you will get into the depths of all this. And you will also understand the psychology, why, how, what of rubber building using NLP. Thank you for listening to me. I'd have a great day ahead.